Hi traders, today we're going to learn how to show the stock at a whole number. And I mean at a whole number and not below a whole number. We have the case of cost here. Look at cost. Cost is consolidating near the lows. Cost is down 1.2%. As you can see, it's downtrending. It looks great. That was a trade I took yesterday. And I want to discuss it today because uh, some of you guys, in fact, just one of you <laughs> in YouTube asked me a little bit uh, more to explain a little bit more about uh, the 155 issue and how I shorted it under the laws at a certain point. So let me discuss that point specifically. As you can see, cost is trending lower. Cost is consolidating near the lows. That looks like a perfect breakdown formation. And as you can also notice, it stopped at 155. Now, 155 is a whole number. We learned about that. We do have some other lessons that discuss that. Stocks are usually being stopped at whole numbers. The reason for that, a lot of people are buying at whole numbers. Look at the number of buyers right now at 155. You see that uh, there are several buyers at 155, a lot of them compared to 155.02 or 155.01. And that really happens mainly because people love to buy at all numbers. If you ask a person, what would be the number that you want to buy cost if it comes down from 157 as it was today, then it would probably tell you, well, let me think, okay, if it comes down to 156, if it comes down to 155, people are buying or selling at whole numbers. So once cost came down to 155, it was expected to find some support. I'm getting ready to short it. I'm getting ready to short 4,000 shares under 155 because that's a support here. And usually you're supposed to be shorting it below the low, meaning a cent under 155. However, there's a nice consolidation here at 155. And if, if, cost is going to come under 155, it's probably going to break down quick, meaning I will not get it close to 155. I may even get it 10 or 20 cents lower. So I can use a market order and then get it 10 or 20 cents lower, which I would prefer not to do. I can use a limit order to short it just below 155, but then it means that my chance to participate in that trade is not so high, meaning it's going to run down very quick and I'm not likely to get into this trade. I'm trading CFD so I have an advantage because I can get unlimited liquidity. But if you're trading stocks, you really have a problem. I'm trying to short 4,000 stocks or in fact CFD stocks and that makes it much easier for me. Now look again at 155, look at the number of buyers at 155. Now the thing is, once you prepare to short under a whole number, you need to try, you can't always make it, but you need to try to short it at the whole number and not below the whole number. Look at the number of buyers at 155. Once you see that the number of buyers decline to the point where it's about to move lower, that's when you should hit the button. Does it always work out perfect? Absolutely not. But I need to try that. So again, once it gets back to 155, look at the number of buyers at 155. Get ready to short it at 155. You can use a market order. You can use a limit order. I prefer to use a market order because I'm trading CFDs. And again, I have unlimited liquidity. But if you guys are trading, uh, here we go. Now, did you see the number declines? You should have watched the number declines. And look at this huge breakdown. That's a 20 cent, 26 cent breakdown. And in fact, that happened yesterday. So that's a recording of something that happened yesterday. I didn't quite get my partial because I was looking for 30 cents and it moved down by 26 cents. So now I have to go through a pullback. But again, take a look at the very quick high volume breakdown that happened under 155. If I, would try, if I would try to short it below 155, I will miss this trade. I need to short it at 155. 
Another option is if I would try to short it under 155, I would probably get it at 154.80 or something like that. And I don't want to chase the stock down. I want to get it at 155 or close to 155. But again, when you're dealing with a whole number breakdown, just like happened here, and a very nice consolidation. And of course, you can't argue with cost trend today. And it's down more than 1.5%. And that also means that a lot of people are watching it. It's on the screeners of everybody who's watching the markets. Cost is a well-known company, Costco, of course. Uh, it's trending lower today. It's down more than 1%. That means everybody's watching it. Everybody's going to participate. So cost moved down real quick and again you need to find the point exactly at 155 when the number of buyers when the number of buyers is reduced and when you think that that's the right point where it's just about to break down under 155 now let's take a look at my execution price my execution price was exactly as you can see here 155 and that's what really makes it a great trade because when my execution price is exactly at 155 that means that i click the button exactly at the right time the number of buyers declined the number of sellers increased i i anticipated the move under 155 Trading is all about anticipation. It's not about obeying black and white rules. Trading is about anticipating, anticipating the fact that the stock is just about to come down under 155. If you miss 155 in that case, you in fact can get it much lower than that, 10 cents or 20 cents. You may still have a nice trade, but there's a huge difference. And I have made a lesson about that. I urge you to go back and look at my lessons one of them talks about how much money you're missing per trade if you do not move in at the right time at the right point so it's a very important issue to get more per trade and in this case even participating because if you didn't get it at the right time you probably didn't participate in that trade or may have a loser so getting it exactly at 155 is really really important now let's go back to where it all happened here's the recording again look at the 155 look at the point where you should have clicked the button look when i click the button here we go getting close look at the number of buyers at 155 look at the number declines now did you see the number decline to the point where you should have clicked that button that's the point where you should have clicked the button. The, the number declined to the point where it was anticipated that the stock will come under 155. And here is a fast forward of uh, what happened yesterday. So as you can see, we moved down to new lows and it really did end up as a very nice trade for me. The thing is, again, you need to understand that once you move to a trade it doesn't matter if it's going long over a whole number or short under a whole number try to get it at the whole number that's the whole meaning of this lesson thank you very much for watching Traders, I would love to hear your thoughts regarding this video, so let's have a discussion in the comments below. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. And if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click right over here in order to learn more about my funded accounts program.